If you want knife skills like a pro, here are three things to keep in mind. My name is Jessica, certified culinary medicine physician assistant. First tip is proper grip. With your dominant hand or the hand you're going to be cutting with, you don't want to hold your knife back here. This does not provide good control. Instead, you want to choke up and hold the blade of the knife between your pointer and your thumb. See how much control I have? My knife is going to do exactly what I want it to do. Second thing, with your other hand, you want to curl those fingertips under like this and let the knife rest right up against your knuckle. If you leave your fingertips out, you will chop off the tips of your fingers. I've seen it in my urgent care and believe it or not, you are not the secret ingredient. We don't want to chop your fingers into your recipe. Fingers under, knife controlled, and there you go. Tip number two is optimizing whatever you're cutting so you have a flat surface touching your cutting board. This tomato is a round object. I've chopped off half of it and now I have a flat surface touching my cutting board. This is going to prevent your item from rolling around and injuring yourself. If you have an item that you can't quite cut in half, for example, an avocado, firm pressure with your non-dominant hand down on top and just slide it cutting all the way around. And there you have it. Tip number three is using the correct knife for the job. For example, this is a chef's knife. You see a nice curved blade. It's usually my go-to for meal prepping in the kitchen as opposed to something like this this is a serrated knife right for cutting bread or something like this this is a paring knife often used to peel items remember a dull knife is a dangerous knife if you're fighting with whatever you're trying to cut you will cut yourself so always make sure you're working with a sharp knife in the kitchen it'll get the job done a lot more easily and it'll be a lot safer for you let me know your thoughts in the comments and like and follow for more